Welcome back everybody to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host T. How are we all doing today? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the movie They Cloned Tyrone by Jamie Foxx. Please like, share, and subscribe and let's talk in the comments. So let me know if you've seen this movie or not. I think it was a great film. It had like some funny parts, but it had a very loud message that I think black people really needed because... A lot of us are like Fontaine and Slickback and Yo-Yo, you know, to varying degrees of income and success and fame, you know, but a lot of us are living in that cycle of pimping, hoeing, selling drugs. And it comes a time where we just have to like break that cycle. I think that was like a big theme in this movie. Part of them being clones was them being trapped like in the cycle, being trapped in the matrix. And it's when it's when like, you know, Tyrone or Fontaine becomes like conscious of it that he can break out of that cycle, that he can break out of the matrix. And I think this movie has a lot of occult symbolism and like occult messages. Um, first of all, cloning in itself is a cult. It's a copy of reincarnation because when we die, we do come back again but it's supposed to be like a natural process but when you have cloning that's when like satan and his friends try to like you know mock god's process of reincarnation which is allowing one to live forever um because we do live in like a universe where things just like you know come and go come and go but cloning is you know very nefarious but it leaves them like trapped in like the cycle of the matrix. That's basically what this is talking about. This movie talked a lot about like the black and white chessboard and Freemasonic agendas with everything from like the shooting of I think Tyrone's little brother or something like that. Like that shooting of like that child was a big psyop to get white people or to get black people to try to assimilate to whiteness. The elevator, those are like big, big um Elevators are huge in occult, in, in the occult, because they represent portals and, like, going to different dimensions and the rise and the fall. Kind of like, again, the whole point of Freemasonry is brick by brick, you know, climbing up a ladder, climbing up a pyramid, step by step. And you have to be beaten down to be built up. That's why they have humiliation rituals. Well, elevators work in that manner, you know, the up and the down, the the transportation to different locations and this movie definitely talked a lot about timelines timeline jumping timeline merging portals dimensions all of that um memories all of that again cycles like this movie was very metaphysical um it talks about black people just banding together but being aware of the role that they play you know everybody has a role to play in the matrix and you get to choose what role you play as long as you're very conscious of it you know um, but this movie also had, like, some stuff that leaned itself to more, um, you know, I guess metaphysical or new age knowledge when you're talking about, like, bloodline and DNA, because it is very, it is very important that, it's very important that Yo-Yo didn't have a clone as the black woman. I think that shows, because I've heard that a lot of black women are, like, Andromeda and insectilian, which is like a type of like extraterrestrial being or higher being, higher dimensional being, and um, that's like in the 5D or something. A lot of black women are like f have 5D energy, and black men have had like a karmic fall, you know. There are people on YouTube who talk about this, and we've seen it like the spiritual, the spiritual, political social economic degradation of the black man meanwhile black women continue to go to school get jobs raise children like more than ever you know yo-yo isn't a part of the schema she while she is participating in low vibrational activities she's not a clone like she's still conscious to an extent she still has like a level of consciousness about herself that has allowed her to at least want to escape. Like, Sick Charles and 
and Fontaine, they were, like, kind of, like, happy where they were, or at least some type of, like, content, you know, like, very disillusioned and just kind of, like, sitting there. Meanwhile, Yo-Yo, like, really does want to be, like, away from all the chaos, so that's very instrumental to note. Um, I feel like when the homeless man said off to see the wizard again occult reference wizardry sorcery they're working in labs they're messing with drugs they're poisoning people they're controlling people they're watching people very sick very sinister we see the music programming i'm glad this movie definitely touched on music programming because i've talked about this time and time again with black people being heavily influenced and poisoned by the evil, evil music that we play, um, and that we support. That's why I can't support a lot of, like, rap anymore, because it's just so toxic. Um, I think another thing that matters in this movie is them talking about, like, Mount Zion at the church, like, of course, Zionists are connected to the Jews or the Ooze, like, that is very instrumental. This movie was definitely talking about the Ooze, like, that community that we feel like, you know, has been taking the Black identity that, um was touched on very very important message it needed to be talked about a lot of celebrities have been talking about that and trying to bring that truth to the forefront but what's important about this film is again it talks about us coming together because nothing can be done if we don't come together um of course the goddamn fried chicken commercial was hilarious it reminded me of the commercials from atlanta on fx by donald glover very like hilarious but like kind of trippy and you know just so fun just like so fucking funny but it just made me think of like the Popeye's chicken sandwich situation like the chicken at Popeye's really got people like out of their fucking skin and it's just like yeah there might be something in this in this goddamn chicken and I'm glad it talked about relaxers like this movie kind of confirmed a lot of conspiracies that a lot of people have already had about the programming in church you know, how we have a lot of people, a lot of the elites, a lot of Freemasons work as pastors to keep people programmed. As we saw in this movie, we see the ass shaking in church. We see the relaxers are bad for, are bad for us. We see the, the juice, the chicken. A lot of these are already conspiracies that people have touched on, but the cloning was kind of a new thing. Um, I think some other stuff that was really good about this film is again it kind of touching on the different aspects of Fontaine I like how the old Fontaine did touch on assimilating the black people this has been talked about and it's true I feel like if black people continue to um and it's really not black women doing this, but it's mainly black men. The way that black men, and notice that the person who's perpetuating it is the black man, but in the film, but black men continue to breed out and like, it's like they're trying to like wash themselves out. And this movie talks about, again, the older Fontaine makes a deal with the devil, which again is very occult. And he agrees, you know, to assimilate, you know, black people to white people through a couple generations of genetic manipulation and the black race is heading in that direction scientists have already predicted what people will look like in the year 2030 2050 you know a lot of people will be light-skinned but will have like will be mixed with black um the simpsons it is it is thought that the people on the simpsons are yellow because they are light-skinned black people or that they are like heavily mixed like people who you know like they're kind of like mulatto people and so seeing that was definitely again something that don't let it go over your head with the white or with the black race like being washed out um I don't think the black race will ever like truly be washed out but it's true that like our DNA is like up for grabs and there's a lot of genetic manipulation, DNA harvesting, you know, there's a lot of, like, bullshit going on under the, under the fucking surface that people don't know about. There's a lot. And, um, I definitely don't have a problem with mixing race or dating out. I just know that 
when you do it with the intention, like this movie was talking about, even though it wasn't talking about like mixed breeding, it was just talking about, um, you know, like just genetically doing it through cloning or whatever, but it's still kind of the same concept of changing one's genetics and again, doing it with intention. And I think a lot of black men have a lot of self-hate issues. And so they intentionally, you know, breed out or enter, or, you know, mix their race to try to annihilate themselves. And this movie was talking about that self-annihilation. I think it was for survival because black men a lot of times hate. Again, they feel like, oh, I wish I was white. So this film did a great job of just talking about a lot of stuff that's going on in the black community one of my favorite parts though was it showing the black people uniting on the news at the end that was so funny because black people would act exactly like that it was so realistic with them being on tv them making a joke out of it them having fun with it black people would totally do that that was hilarious again just like the goddamn fried chicken commercial hilarious um, overall, again, an excellent film, totally worth the watch. Um, and as far as like the whole PR stunt with, with Jamie Foxx and cloning and AI, I starting. To, I'm definitely one of those people who feels like Jamie Foxx made a sacrifice, or he may have sacrificed himself, or you know, all of that bullshit was a part of, of course, the ritual to push this film, to gain PR for this film. Um, that whole cloning and illness shit with Jamie Foxx was, you know, the timing of it is, of course, like, very, you know, very, um, you know, convenient, you know, if you could say. So, it's obvious that there's more going on, but it was a great film. I hope to him, whatever medical emergency he had was worth it to get this information out because, um... You know, again, a lot of us knew a lot of this stuff already, but it did give a very different perspective, and I'm glad that it opened black people's eyes to metaphysical science, because that is the issue with most Christians and most black people, um, which sometimes are the same thing, is just that a lot of people in general don't know about quantum leaping, timeline jumping, different different realms different dimensions they don't know and so they have no idea what you're, what you're talking about when you say clone npc soulless being you know reptilian entity there are so many different types of entities and species on this planet besides human but people don't know that because that is not pushed as mainstream information but th- but it's true and it's real and the bible speaks of it so you know don't sleep But let's talk in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this film. Thank you for watching. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.